Hey everybody, Ricky with Armars Media here again in the Armars Spice Co. shirt again. I know I keep making these videos. I have to make these videos when my three-year-old's not here because he'll interrupt every single video and jump and make noise and stuff. And I, as you can tell, I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to set up all my professional rig because I do that for a job and I don't want. I just want to record on my iPhone and talk to you guys. I think that's more important. Anyways, I want to talk about my Yamo uh, S809s. Um, I'm very happy with them, uh, only because I'm able to run an AB. As you can see, I got my uh, clips up there. Uh, if they were my sole um, speakers, I probably wouldn't like them as much um, because the clips kind of, they uh, complement them because of their high mid range. And so a lot of the vocal and guitar come off those. Uh, drums and bass come off, of course, the sub and then the, the definition of the drums is really good off of the, the Yamos. But, you know, for, I think I got the set for $300 off of Amazon. They're on sale. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. The, the volume of them, they start, they start distorting um, probably about 80%, 85%. I know you're thinking like, well, it's high end. That's well, I kind of have a cheaper end, um, a cheaper end receiver. So I think it's more of the receiver than it is the speakers. Um, also, I'm running 12 gauge wire, which is a lot thicker than most people run. So I don't know if it's giving more power, well, whatever it is. But anyways, uh, these are, of course, have the, the magnetic front and uh, these are really cool. I like these. They look really nice in my house. And plus, uh, believe it or not, that is handmade. I made it myself and I, it, kinda, it matches pretty well with it. Um, so that's another reason why I purchased the uh, 809s versus anything else is because I, I could get this, uh, it's like a fake veneer. I don't think it's true wood. I think it's just uh, like a print. Uh, it's coming up on my, my sub at the bottom of it. Um, it's starting to come off, which I've only had these probably three months. But I really like these. I think the, the drivers on these are, are really good. Tweeters, uh, it's a little hot. So you know, a lot of, a lot of air on the top end but with my Bilar, I'm able to tamper it down or, or raise it depending on the album. Uh, but I know like my uh, On The Rocks from Midland, that's very airy, especially the background vocals. They took everything out so you could hear just the airiness of his background vocals and super clear, uh, very good. And as you can tell, it has that, it's, it's not like a silicone, it's more of like a plastic. And then with the silk tweeter, I believe. Uh, and then the these are four inch drivers um, they're, they're good. I mean, before I got, cause the sub came separate. So the sub actually came in a couple days later. So when I was listening to it without the sub, it did lack a little bit low end. Um, I do have them about eight inches off the back wall because as you can see, I got, I gotta get that better organized. Uh, but, and I also have a shelf on the other side that kind of won't let it go all the way back. But I, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy with them. Um, I would say I would give them I would say I'd give them probably like a 6.5 or 7, but when you draw in the money aspect, I give them like an 8.5 because of how affordable they are and how beautiful they look. Um, of course, I'm going to upgrade the floor stands. Uh, the sub, I enjoy the sub. I just need a sub out. Um, and actually, you know, this is uh, a, I ah, now nah, save it for another video because <laughs> that's going to take too long to explain. Cause I had to rig the sub up through my EQ. That's how I got it to work. Uh, fortunately, it's a powered sub. It's an active sub. So I'm able to control the volume underneath it, but it does suck when I wanna, you know, kind of make it a louder uh, setup. So I have to lift it up and turn it to where I want it. Uh, but it's very clean, very, very clean sub. Love it, love it. And as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of space like other subs. Uh, I call it more of a pancake sub. Anyways, yeah, so the, the 809s are a great value. I think if you're looking for a budget system, if you want to get an all-in system that sounds fantastic, um, I really like the 809s. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it's a great theater system also. My son loves it when I make it loud for his movies that he watches. Um, and clarity is there. It's just, I think it needs more. There's no warmth, no warmth at all, I would say. Uh, but that could be, you know, I do run it through a tube uh, photo preamp, so uh, it should be warmer. And then I run it into a Bellari. I, I do, I do scoop out a little bit of the high mid, 
only because I have the clips connected. But if I had just the, the, the Yamos, I would have the, the mid kind of up boosted a little bit because the clips are fantastic for vocals. It, it, it really, to me, it sounds like the drums, the bass, and uh, keyboards are playing off of the Yamos and the guitars and vocals are off of the clips, which I love. I, I, I did live sound for many years. I did sound engineering. So just to have that spatial um, uh, aspect to it, I really, really like the setup that I, I created here. Um, I, I'm, I'm, my goal is to either get the JBLs um, or the Heritage from uh, Klipsch, uh, maybe even some KLHs, we'll see. Um, I just depends on the budget, you know, hopefully soon we'll be able, I'll be able to afford uh, the ones I want. But anyways, so if you're looking to buy the 809s, I didn't find many videos about the 809s. There are a lot of 807s and in, in, in the, the bookshelf speakers, but not too many about the 809s. So I wanted to put this video out there because I know a lot of people are seeing them on Amazon for so cheap. And I want to teach them or show them what they, or tell them what they could expect. I didn't really want to put too much production value into this. But like I said, it's not a, it's not a, it's an, ex, it's exaggerated U on, I would say on the EQ curve for the Yamos. Really great high end, really great, great low end, but the mids are, they lack, that's lackluster. Uh, so get an EQ, a uh, hundred bucks on Amazon, get an, uh, a Bellari or an OSD. Uh, but if you, I'm looking for kind of more of a vintage one too, so. Hopefully, hopefully if things go right and uh, things go according to plan and I don't have any big bills come up like life usually throws at you, my plan is to upgrade. Um, I'm actually really looking at some Macintosh gear um, because I love the glow. I can't say, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them, you know? <laughs> I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> Anyways, the Yamos are great. If you're looking for a budget system, they're great. The, the Sony's fantastic. Is really transparent really like it it is a solid state so you're not going to get too much warmth off of it and that's why i went with the duck audio i replaced the uh the tubes on it and now it's it's night and day difference i just bought some higher end uh ge tubes compared to what it came with and i already hear a huge difference so i mean that was 65 70 bucks and to really amplify your sound like that totally worth it anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video didn't want to make it too long I give a thumbs up on the Yamos for budget uh, budget uh, budget speakers, uh, but yeah, definitely look at the Klipsch if you have a little bit more money. I'm a huge fan of Klipsch. I think I'm gonna put those in my bedroom, uh, maybe even in the ceiling because they have ceiling speakers also. So, all right, guys, have a great one.